What is up, NFL fans? Welcome back to the channel, Rivas Talk Sports. Another week of any given Sunday football is now down. Surprising wins from certain teams and surprising losses by certain teams. But in this video, I will be giving you my week five predictions. First up, Thursday night, Tampa Bay Buccaneers versus the Atlanta Falcons. The Atlanta Falcons had a nice division victory over the New Orleans Saints, and the Buccaneers did dismantle the Philadelphia Eagles. The thing about the Falcons right now is they're a bit too inconsistent for my liking. Don't know if I trust them just yet to win back-to-back -back home games against back-to-back -back divisional teams. With that being said, with the Buccaneers being underdogs in this game, give me the Tampa Bay Buccaneers money line in this game. I think I have more confidence in this Tampa Bay team right now than I do with the Falcons right now. So give me the Tampa Bay Buccaneers upset money line over the Atlanta Falcons. New York Jets versus the Minnesota Vikings. The Jets lose in a heartbreaker by one point to the Denver Broncos and the Minnesota Vikings continue the undefeated season by defeating the Green Bay Packers by two points. This game is in London. So across the pond kind of game, Give me the Minnesota Vikings money line. They're probably the most well-balanced team in the NFL right now. They're undefeated right now in the NFL, and they're also undefeated in London. I expect them to continue the undefeated season right now. Close game. I know Rodgers has his history against the Vikings, but it's too hard to go against the Vikings right now. Give me the Minnesota Vikings money line in London over the New York Jets. Next, we have the Cleveland Browns versus the Washington Commanders. The Browns are not a team that I'm probably going to choose as much this season. This team looks broken down from an organization standpoint, team standpoint, argue with one another. They lost to the Las Vegas Raiders. Meanwhile, Jaden Daniels, the quarterback, is having a superior rookie of the year type of season. He has the most completion percentage through the first four weeks as a rookie. This team is in first place in the NFC East. If anyone told me that the Commanders would be in first in the NFC East through four games, I would have thought you were crazy. I guess this is what's happening right now in the NFL any given Sunday. But with that being said, give me the Washington Commanders money line over the Browns. I cannot choose the Browns right now. Jay and Daniels is heating up. This Commanders team is very serious about trying to make an impact in this division. Can't choose the Bears. Can't choose the Browns right now. Give me the Commander's money line. Indianapolis Colts versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Colts defeated the Pittsburgh Steelers with the help of Joe Flacco. And the Jacksonville Jaguars remain winless as they have a heartbreaking loss to the Houston Texans. Up in the air if it's Joe Flacco starting or Richardson starting next week. The Jacksonville Jaguars do come home. Give me the Jaguars money line. I don't expect them to be the winless team this season. I do expect them to win at some point in the season. I find it very hard for the Jaguars to start the season 0-5. If they start 0-5, the head coach is gone. But I think the Jaguars sneak in a W in this game. They come home very pissed off. I don't think they're going to want to lose back-to-back -back games to divisional teams. Jaguars at home. Give me the money line over the Indianapolis Colts. Buffalo Bills versus the Houston Texans, the Stephon Diggs revenge game. The Bills got dismantled on primetime against the Baltimore Ravens, and the Texans had the nice come-from-behind victory over the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Texans are slight underdogs at home. Both teams are first in the division, and both teams are 3-1. and one. Give me the close victory. To the Houston Texans money line, I think they're going to do whatever they can to make Stephon Diggs the X factor in this team. The Bills have been playing superior this year, but giving the Texans at home, I think they'll sneak in a W, and I think Stephon Diggs will be the X factor in this game for his revenge game. Give me the Houston Texans money line over the Buffalo Bills. Miami Dolphins versus the New England Patriots. Don't have much interest in this game, similar to how I felt last week from the Browns and Raiders game, as I did choose the home team based off home field advantage. I'll do the same thing. Don't have much in interest in this game. Don't have much say for either teams, but I'll take the Patriots at home. The money line is pretty much even right now, so give me the Patriots money line at home over the Miami Dolphins. Carolina Panthers 
versus the Chicago Bears. The Panthers tried to come from behind and beat the Bengals, but they lost to the Bengals and the Chicago Bears defeated the Los Angeles Rams. The Bears have now won seven straight games at home. I am choosing the Chicago Bears money line. I do not see this Panthers team breaking that streak. I think the Bears would do whatever they can to keep that home winning streak alive. Don't see the Panthers being the Chicago Bears in Chicago. Give me the Bears money line over the Carolina Panthers. Baltimore Ravens versus the Cincinnati Bengals. The Bengals finally got their first win of the season over the Carolina Panthers. Meanwhile, the Baltimore Ravens have won two straight games and are now 2-2, two and two, second in the AFC North. Going to be a tough divisional game whenever two AFC North teams play against each other. It's pretty much a low-scoring game, dogfight kind of situation, the hardest division in the NFL. Give me the Baltimore Ravens to defeat the Cincinnati Bengals. Lamar Jackson is 8-2 against the Bengals. Great track record against the Bengals. Don't have much confidence in this Bengals defense against the Ravens now that Derrick Henry is plowing through the line and making an impact in this rushing, running game. Give me the Baltimore Ravens money line over the Cincinnati Bengals. Arizona Cardinals versus the San Francisco 49ers. The Cardinals got embarrassed by the Washington Commanders. Meanwhile, the 49ers proved that they are still the toughest team, even though it was against one of the worst teams in the NFL. But don't see the Cardinals coming in this game, defeating the 49ers at San Francisco. Very juicy money line for the Arizona Cardinals, but I cannot find a way for the Cardinals to defeat the 49ers based on their loss to the Commanders. Like I said, any given Sunday can happen. Don't see it in this game. Give me the San Francisco 49ers money line. Las Vegas Raiders versus the Denver Broncos. The Raiders defeated the Browns at home, and the Broncos defeated the New York Jets by a point in New York. This Broncos defense is probably top five, top three, depending on who you ask. I do not see Garden Minshew, Garden Minshew finding his way through this Broncos defense. Give me the Denver Broncos money line. I think this team could probably win three games in a row and take down the Raiders. So give me the Denver Broncos money line. The Broncos defense helps them win this game. Broncos money line. New York Giants versus the Seattle Seahawks. The Giants lost on Thursday night against the Dallas Cowboys and the Seattle Seahawks. Very tough game against the Detroit Lions. Neighbors is up in the air if he will play. He did suffer concussion towards the end of the Cowboys game. If he plays, I think he helps them out a bit, maybe keep it close. But as of right now, at Seattle, Mike McDonald era, this team is playing a lot better than they did last year. Don't find, I don't see a way of this Giants team defeating the Seahawks. Give me the Seattle Seahawks at home money line over the New York Giants. Green Bay Packers versus the Los Angeles Rams. The Packers were getting blown out for the first half. They had a nice come from behind attempt. Two missed field goals is a killer. The Packers are still facing their kicking situation as it does not look good. And probably the kicker will probably find himself in the waiver wire in real life if he cannot get it together. Packers lose by two points. Meanwhile, the Rams lose to the Chicago Bears at Chicago. Give me the Green Bay Packers money line. I think this will probably be a close game, but the Packers are just the tad more healthier team right now. And the NFC North is very competitive right now. And the Packers do know that if they lose, it's going to be tough to crawl back and win the division. The Packers know they can't lose this game as the Bears, Lions, and the Vikings are making impacts in the division. Give me the Packers money line over this injury-riddled Los Angeles Rams team. Packers money line. Dallas Cowboys versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Dallas Cowboys defeated the New York Giants on Thursday night, and the Pittsburgh Steelers suffered their first loss against the Indianapolis Colts. I think this will be a very close game. I think this game will probably be within a field goal. Um, the Cowboys, 
based on how I watch them against the Giants, they're pretty much playing like an eight and nine football team. They're not as dominant. And now with Lawrence and Parsons being out for quite some time, that is a huge blow for their defense. Meanwhile, Justin Fields has kept his team together. It's heartbreaking loss to the Colts. With that being said, give me the underdog. Give me the Dallas Cowboys first pit. I know their defensive line is that de- their defense, their defense is a bit decimated with Parsons and Lawrence being out. And the last five games, they are one and four as away underdogs. I think Aubrey is the difference maker late in this game as Dak and Lamb will probably carry all the weight of this team going into this game. Give me the Dallas Cowboys. I think Aubrey's leg saves them in prime time. Dallas Cowboys underdog money line against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now we have Monday night, New Orleans Saints versus the Kansas City Chiefs. Rashi Rice's injury is a big blow to this offense, and the Saints lose to the Atlanta Falcons. I think this will be a very close game. It's very hard to go against the Chiefs at home and on prime time. I think the refs find a way. I'm sorry. I think the Chiefs find a way to remain undefeated in a close game on Monday night against the New Orleans Saints. Give me the Chiefs at home. They remain undefeated after week five over the New Orleans Saints. Give me the Chiefs money line. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the content, please give the video a thumbs up and comment below on your week five predictions. Thank you so much and see you next week.